All right, so it came out that apparently a address associated with Marilyn Manson was raided by the police because of allegations of sexual assault. Because there have been allegations of sexual assault against the, against Marilyn Manson for quite a while, and this Illuminati Satanist uh, is a stinking pervert, by the way. Okay, he is uh, a very very wicked guy. He encourages all kinds of criminal activity in his songs and his. Uh, content and so it's not surprising that these sexual assault allegations have come up I'm not saying they're true or they're false but they would not surprise me if they were true because his songs encourage rape murder criminal activity uh, sexual perversion so it wouldn't be surprising if this guy was just taking pervert so basically what happened was is that the police raided this address associated with him and this is because of these sexual assault allegations and I'm gonna read this article on the Rolling Stone and again, keep in mind, Marilyn Manson, this is a guy that uh, encourages rape and murder in his songs and, and would encourage all kinds of criminal activity, would encourage, you know, sexual perversion, would encourage uh, killing and, and robbing and that kind of stuff. He's a very, he, he's basically encouraging criminal activity. That's what I've said before. But going to read this article from the Rolling Stone. They published a report on him a little while back, but it says LA County Sheriff's, Depart Sheriff's investigators raided an address associated with Marilyn Manson on Monday morning. A source in the department tells Rolling Stone the news comes on the heels of Rolling Stone's expose on the singer, whose real name is Brian Warner, and his alleged sexual abuse of multiple women, some of whom accuse him of locking women in soundproof rooms. Several lawsuits are pending. So, uh, special Victims Unit investigators search for belongings in connection to the sexual assault allegations against him. It is unclear what, what was taken from the location. Quote, I can confirm. What I can confirm is that there was a search warrant that was served this morning. The LA County Sheriff's Force said it is confirmed that, that it was Warner's address, his location, and that there was a search warrant for his belongings. So multiple women have come out. And by the way, the, you know, his fans will try to defend him. But the thing is, too, these women, they know him on a personal level. His fans don't know him like, like his girlfriends do. You see, that's the thing about these celebrities is that fans don't want to believe don't want to believe the, the uh, allegations that would ever come against celebrities. But nobody knows them better than their girlfriends. Nobody knows them better than their, than their partners. See, their fans just know their content. But their girlfriends, their partners know them on a personal level. They know what they're, li they know what they're like off camera. They know what they're like when they're not in the public spotlight. So that's why it's more, and, and plus the fact that multiple women have come out, you know, saying that, that he basically was abusing them, it makes sense, you know, because they know him better. And by the way, given his track record of encouraging criminal activity, sexual behavior, uh, sexual immorality, all kinds of, of rape and incest and murder, it's not surprising that he would come out and be accused of this kind of stuff, okay? Again, I'm not saying he is or isn't, I'm just saying it, it's not surprising if these allegations were true. So. Uh, continuing, in Rolling Stone's expose, several women, including model Ashley Morgan, Smithline, uh, Smithline said uh, they were forced to stay in a soundproof space, which was, which was described as the size of a department store dressing room for hours. Game of Thrones actress Esme uh, ba Banco, hope I'm saying that name right, alleges that Warner frequently abused her verbally, deprived her of sleep and food, uh, bit, cut, electrocuted, and whipped her without her consent and raped her during the two years during their two years together. Quote, my clients continue to fully support the LASD in the ongoing investigation and applaud this, this latest step towards making sure Brian Warner is held to account. J. Allen Wenger, the attorney representing Bal Balenco and Smithline, tells Rolling Stone. So this is not surprising. He, he's raping them. Well, why? Because he encourages rape in the song. See, when you're into Satanism, and he'll say, well, I'm not a Satanist. I'm just, I'm an atheist. I don't actually believe in Satanism. Well, you know, there's either God or Lucifer, okay? And atheism is just another form of Luciferianism. And this is not surprising this has come out because he encourages this kind of activity in his songs. So obviously he's going to behave that same way because he's filled with devils. So you're going to do all this kind of type of criminal activity like rape and, and torturing your girlfriends. You know, it doesn't surprise me one bit because, you know, I'll link an article in the description on this website called JesusIsSavior.com about Marilyn Manson. And he's a very sick person, a very sick, depraved person. Okay, he encourages... Uh, homosexuality, he encourages abortion, you know, aborting, you know, fetuses and whatever. He encourages all kinds of sick, per uh, perverted behavior. He encourages murder. He encourages criminal activity. So this doesn't surprise me one bit that this has come out. So just so wanted to show you guys that about the kind of filth that Illuminati Satanists over in Hollywood are into. This is the, the blunt and brutal reality of the type of filth, filthy behavior and filthy conduct that these Satanist Illuminati Luciferians over in Hollywood are conducting themselves off camera and, be, and when they're not in the spotlight. Shows their true colors off camera. Again, no one knows them better than their girlfriends do. 
See, their fans don't know them like their girlfriends do. So anyway, don't be deceived by this Illuminati Satanism over in Hollywood. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.